What's really scary is that it happens to so many people. Yeah. I mean, it's only really now, you know, with you with writing the book, you know, your book is called Stalked, with you writing that and with people coming forward with their stories that we actually realise how bad this is because oftentimes it, it's all done secretly and, and you don't want to really maybe say too much about it because it inflames the situation, it makes it worse. Yeah. I mean, I think the problem was, was that I didn't realise I was being stalked. I just thought I was going through a bad relationship a very breakup. bad breakup yeah um and the people around me didn't really recognize it as being stalked mm. either um until so, it went on and on yeah and on, until yeah. it went on and on and on and the situation really escalated and that's really partly why i've written the book because mm. my case specifically demonstrates all those little clues to stalking and of course mm. we have laws for stalking now um so people can get help if they want to and mm. You know, the story that I've written is a story of a victim of stalking, but it also shows how I've come through it. You I've have moved indeed. on with yes, my life. Yes, you have managed to do that. And it gives you clues, you know, to who to turn to mm. for help and where That's to good. get help as well. No, absolutely. Your life, though, was all but destroyed. Yeah. I mean, a less woman might have gone down. Yeah. What kept you going? Um, I think I was in shock for a lot of it. So mm. I think... I put my focus into getting through the days onto work and really work kept me going. Right. If I had quit work, if I had given up, mm. um, then I think I would be in a completely different situation sure. today. But I put all that effort into making mm. sure that I got out of bed and I went to work um, and that's really what got me through it. No, absolutely.